Yo, what up everyone? How you doing? Bloody hell, hope I didn't scare you there. I scared myself, man. Welcome back to another video. I have a really sick, full-informed squad builder for you, but before we get into it, this time in the clip of the day is not mine. It is uh, Mad HD Gamer, where he packed 93 striker Ronaldo and Lime in the same pack, and Lucas, and Walter, and... Leandro Damia, I didn't oh yeah, he still plays. But yeah, that's a sick pull. Matt's pack luck, oh my god, this year has been absolutely insane. Uh, I'm not gonna get into how much he spends because someone is gonna say in the comment section, oh yeah, Emperor, that's because he spends this and this. I don't care, like, his pack luck is insane. Anyways, now we're gonna go straight into this squad builder. We're going with 4 triple two because we're going with a full inform. So left side is gonna be Serie A, right side is gonna be La Liga. So we go with the, the well, the 90 rated inform Higuain looks absolutely insane. Uh, crazy finishing as well. 90 rated, it's extremely amazing. I don't know why that's extremely amazing. And then we go with 89 inform Benzema. But let's take a look at the stats though when you look at that 85 pace and 89 dribbling and overall any like a striker above 90 shooting overall is just crazy him and Benzema are just gonna be so deadly up front mostly because of their finishing overall but uh, now it's time to look at the cam so for the two cams I thought I'd go with inform Griezmann that's the first inform and uh, inform Felipe Anderson now Felipe Anderson isn't the best uh, passer in the sense, like over the top through balls and stuff. It's not really pinpoint accurate, but uh, it's still really decent. Got a lot of pace. Griezmann's passing is amazing. I think Griezmann is way better as a cam than a striker, personally. And I've tried his 87 in form as well. I don't know how many of you will agree with me there. CDMs, we went with Biglia and Nzonzi. I think Nzonzi is really sick, though. I preferred him over Biglia, that's for sure. Nzonzi was rather good. Now, right back and left back and the two center backs. The defense line is going to be crucial here. We went with Inform De Marcos and uh, left back. We went with Rodlam, uh, Algerian left back. Um, I actually thought he was pretty decent. It wasn't really the greatest choice for the left backs that are in form for Serie A, but uh, Either way, we went with Bonucci in form and center back. Of course, you can go with Chiellini here, you can go with many other informs. Preferably go for an Italian, I'll explain why in a minute. And then inform La Porte will go uh, next to uh, Bonucci. Now, to finish it off, the grand finale, the record breaker, the main man, Gianluigi Buffon. Uh, got himself a nice, ma well, two rating upgrade, which is pretty sick. And it's got record breaker colors because it's a record breaker card. And it's amazing. And he was amazing. Uh, got a few little clips in there for you as well on the two matches we usually play. And yeah, let's get into it now. Uh, team looks really solid, rock solid. Uh, Higuain and Benzema aren't the fastest as their normal cards, but overall shooting, it's uh, their shooting is amazing. Long shots and finishing. And when you have uh, really pacey cams like Griezmann and Philip Anderson. You're going to have a lot of problem as uh, the defending team. So, first game we go into, not the best of team, uh, not the best team we're coming up against, but I'm quite afraid of cheap teams, especially with, I still believe there's handicap. A lot of you don't believe that, but I personally do. Not a major extent of handicapness. I know that sounds, I don't, is that handicapness? Yeah, but um, there's definitely some, uh, you feel like some things don't go your way. A lot of things don't go your way, to be honest. But uh, the team was really sick. I didn't. Re this FIFA, to be honest, I haven't really noticed uh, any sluggishness in players or handicap as much as the other FIFAs. The other FIFAs, I've noticed it significantly. But uh, this FIFA hasn't really been that much of an issue. But still, a ridiculously overpowered team. Uh, Griezmann, like, look at this from Griezmann. That's a really... I don't know. I have to say, that was really... Uh, lucky there, but still a really good over the top through ball. Like I said, Griezmann is more of the uh, accurate passer, and he has great finishing, and he has uh, good pace and dribbling. And Anderson, I would just have to say, run with him if you actually build this team. I mean, this isn't one of your typical squad builders where you're gonna make it. It's just for fun. I uh, thought I'd do a full informed team because I think I've yet to do one on this FIFA, so it's more of your, it's your entertainment purposes. But really fun team. I'm not gonna lie, really fun to use them. Really overpowered. What more can you expect for a uh, full informed team? Cost me around a mil point, I think just about a 1.1 mil, I think, a 1.2 mil. Uh, really amazing uh, uh, chemistry Higuain and Benzema had with each other. Look at this, finishing that off 3 1. Um, uh, nice little uh, individual run from Higuain. Should have done better over here from the defending, but this is what I mean with cheap teams. You never know what happens. They're just so overpowered and makes it 3 2, but still won the game. Moving to the second game, I really wanted to put this in because I thought it was really interesting that. Um, he went with a Leicester team here and uh, quite a few silvers in there. Me and my friend were debating why as to why he didn't go for the goal players. But uh, for example, Mahrez is quite uh, expensive and uh, Vardy, actually not Vardy isn't that expensive. But compared to their gold cards, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, 
he likes uh, the silver players because I personally think they're kind of overpowered uh, as silvers rather than golds as we've all known and seen on uh, previous FIFAs. Higuain should have done better there but uh, kind of bounced a bit. Um, I, I think he kind of took the shot too early on the bounce. Well, I took the shot too early really. Can't really complain about that. But as you can see, Higuain is a typical poacher which is what I like about this. Him and Benzema. That's what makes his team really overpowered. You're worried about the pace? You have the two cams, but Higuain isn't exactly slow now since he's got a massive upgrade again with an inform, moving up to 85 pace. And I really like this uh, partnership, Benzema and Higuain, not going to lie. Usually I'd go for something like Aubameyang and Ibrahimovic. Bit of pace, well, a lot of pace really, and uh, Ibrahimovic for the finishing and aerial threat and physical presence. But yeah, still really fun to use this team. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I have a really expensive exp uh, squad coming up. Uh, shout out to Adam Corey as well. Um, yeah, so as always, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Have a wonderful day, guys. Here's the top three. Peace.